New Year's Eve without champagne? That's not even a New Year's Eve to me. I guess we'll just have to bear it, whatever. Okay, we'll get through it. Okay, taking a look outside our Cayucas 805 webcams. This was earlier today, and this was the picture pretty much across the forecast area. Cloudy, a little bit of rain. It was drizzly. South Coast time lapse just socked in here with tons of cloud coverage. And then later today, it got hit with a good amount of rain. Just pockets of sunshine, just barely making its way through the area. Now, satellite and radar right now, the system that's moving through the area. It started earlier this evening. It hit San Luis Obispo area earlier tonight around 8 o'clock. We got some heavier downpour, but right now it's such a fast moving system that it's already down in the LA County area. But just a little bit ago, it was right over Santa Barbara and we were getting reports of a weather anomaly. So what happened was down in Goleta, there were reports for some residents about a water spout that hit land. And what that is, it looks a little bit like a tornado event when it comes to land. We reached out to the fire Fire department down there. They did confirm that the power was out, that uh, land spout or water spout, there was no confirmation on exactly what it was just yet. I reached out to National Weather Service. They are going to be sending someone tomorrow to take a look at it and get confirmation on exactly what happened. But the damage that it did, power out, carport awnings were ripped off. There was trees down. So all around a good amount of damage from this weather anomaly down in Goleta. It was in an apartment complex. That's all we know so far, but we will continue to get updates when we know more. Like I said, National Weather Service will be checking it out for that confirmation tomorrow morning. So you can check our website for that um, update. Now, one thing that we're worried about here going into the next couple of days, we also have a wind advisory in place. That is going to be until tomorrow at 4 p.m. So that's for those interior valleys in San Luis Obispo and in the mountains of San Luis Obispo up to 50 mile an hour gusts. So leading up to 2022, we've got several systems moving through here. Also, what we have in place right now is a winter storm warning that's in place until 10 a.m. tomorrow. That's for the Santa Barbara County mountains. Six to 12 inches of snow are going to be possible above 5000 feet. Now, lower elevation, still going to get a little bit of snow here, a couple of inches there. Wind gusting as well at 45 miles an hour. So definitely ending out 2021 with some active weather. Let's break it down here with our satellite and radar because that first system that moved through overnight tonight, we're still feeling pockets of rain from it, but majority of that is already down in the LA County area. As we head into Sunday, we will keep things nice and cool and cloudy. It will be dry though for the majority of our day, but Sunday night, we're going going to get another system moving through that is going to hit us until Monday night. So you can see it's going to start at the top of California here, dropping in first for northern San Luis Obispo County. Then it'll make its way through the south coast and then by Monday evening it is gone and dried out. We probably will see another system though starting on Tuesday night. So like I'm saying, a lot of wet weather here as we start our next year. Kind of exciting though because we're in a drought. Let's break it down a little bit more though. As we head into Sunday, you can see already nice and dry here. Clouds though all across the area heading into Sunday evening. That second system dropping from the top of San, top of San Luis Obispo County across the area by Monday morning into Monday afternoon, drying out by Monday evening like we just mentioned. Now, going into how much rain we're talking here, by the end of those systems, we are going to see close to an inch here by Monday into Tuesday at a half inch. And then again, tapping out the end of Tuesday, we could see up to an inch from these systems. Now, 50s all across the board here tomorrow, like I'm saying, going to be dry, but again, very cool, low 50s for our Cayucas over there. Same for Napomo at 54 and swinging down to San Ynez Valley, only about 57 degrees. Now that seven day forecast dropping into the 40s on Tuesday for Paso Robles and that other system I was talking about on Wednesday. We're not going to see that sun come back until we hit 2022 and things kind of dry out just a bit. Dusty.